Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is my daughter, June. I gotta start introducing her because she's part of the show now. <laughs> uh, I wanted to hop on here real quick to share you, uh, share with you a project hey. that I finished and a project hey. that I'm still working on. Hey. Let me find my August, there it is, uh, paper. <laughs> um, so the, the whip that I've been working on is the one I've been working on forever. Oops, spoon. <laughs> um, it is my Halloween countdown that is a paid for pattern by the left handed crocheter. I'll link it below. I feel like I've been working on it forever. I started it like two months ago. But it is a bobble graph. The part that I'm working on is the graph, like the background. And then after I get it done, dang, I just pulled all my stitches out. I got to uh, make a bunch of pockets to put on it. So I actually got some good work done on it. Okay, I thought she was about to use the bathroom. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to hold it up and show it to you guys. I finally got to where I'm adding the roof. So. Okay, there's the bottom. The corner's folded under. So there's the door of the house, and then it goes down or up. And I started on the roof. So there's gonna be more gray, some black, and less purple as it goes up. And there's also gonna be a moon, a chimney, and then I think that's it. And then I'll start on the appliques and the pockets. So I'm getting there. I think I have 15 rolls left to do, or 13 of the background. So right now I have two gray bobbins, two black bobbins, and a purple bobbin attached. And I dropped my purple one on the floor. <laughs> but we'll deal with that later. But uh, I'm using a J hook, which is a six millimeter. Yeah. Uh, for that. And it's coming along. I've been working on it in the mornings. Usually when she wakes up, she'll be up for like an hour or so, and then she'll lay back down for a nap. When she goes, lays down for that nap is when I work on that. So it's coming along. I'm not going to be able to end it in the fair because uh, that's in just four days. <laughs> but... Um, I'll have it done before Halloween. I'm pretty sure. Unless something happens in September. <laughs> but that's that's what I'm working on. That's my whip. And then I have a finished object that I made the other day just for funsies. I found it on uh, Instagram. Uh, I follow a few pages on there that post little amigurumi free patterns. And um, I'll link the Instagram down below and also the Etsy and the Ravelry shop for the creator of this pattern. And it's called Boo Boo, but it's B-U-B-U. -B -U. Oh. And I used an e-hook, which is a three millimeter, and I used worsted weight yarn. And it's free on Instagram. And I will, like I said, I'll link it below. It's it's at sign L Y N Crochet Journal. Um, and then the paid version is on Etsy and Ravelry. And the paid version has more details on the pattern, and uh, it has a little hat. <laughs> so here's the pattern. It's a little trigger treater. Ain't that cute? Let me take it out. And it's got a little pumpkin trigger treat bag. The pattern, you're supposed to use a marker to put a face on the pumpkin. I didn't want to do that. And I actually made it, I left it open instead of closing it. You're supposed to close it and stuff it. But I left it open like a little bag. I thought I might could stick something out of it. <laughs> I don't know. But it's so cute. So it was made with white and I used a buff and uh, pumpkin, I think. And a little tiny bit of brown that was coffee, I think. My phone's dying. And then I used um, 12 millimeter safety eyes and little tiny bits of pink for the little blushes. I just thought it was so cute. I, I kind of overstuffed it. I tend to do that sometimes. I get excited, I guess, over stuff. So he's a little tubby, but I just think it's cute. Yeah, did you like it too? The body is one piece, and then the two legs are separate, and then the arm is separate, and then the little pumpkin bag. But it's a cute little make, and I made it in one setting. Um, I, I started it while she was just up playing one day, and then uh, I got her down for a nap, and put her in, in her bed and then I finished it while she was sleeping so I guess not one setting but one time frame but it's really cute so I'll link that in uh, the Instagram below that I got it for free on and I'll link the um, Etsy and Ravelry shops in case you want to purchase the pattern the purchase has a little pumpkin hat um, and it says on there on the Instagram post that it has more details about how to uh, make it although I mean it had enough details to for me to make it so I, I'm not sure what it meant by that <laughs> but uh, it's so cute and um, yeah Instagram's a pretty good place to get a lot of free amigurumi patterns people post them there all the time uh, promoting their patterns and stuff so it's just cute I just thought it was cute and I'll use it as decoration probably somewhere <laughs> on one of my shelves or something but that's what I've been working on so I got my little ghost done and I've been working on that Halloween thing I need to get it done and then I need to finish that sweater I started forever ago and I still just gotta make the sleeves Oh, but I'll worry about that eventually, maybe in the fall. <laughs> and then I want to start some more amigurumis because I really like doing that. I want to start my Sally from my Nightmare for Christmas thing, so I gotta collect all those yarns together. 
I guess I gotta hop off here because she's getting fussy. And I'm gonna add this real quick and get it up for you. It's later in the day. It's already almost eight, so it'll be late before this is up. But I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow for what you're working on Wednesday. Bye, guys.